Hey everyone, it's Jeff Quinton, the Quinton Group.tv. Today we're going to talk about the forgotten things that sellers have not disclosed when buying a home. Hey, welcome back. Yes, I'm your host, Jeff Quinton at the Quinton Group.tv. So today we're going to talk about sellers' disclosures uh, and what a seller should disclose, not disclose, what they forget to disclose. I'll bring up three different things that come to mind right now. Number one, though, before I get into those, you know, here in southern New Jersey on a market, um, you'll find that it's not always customary or always standard to get a seller's disclosure. However, we do encourage it to all of our sellers, our homeowners, whomever we're going to list and, and, and say, hey, we suggest that we, uh, we get a seller's disclosure because more and more buyers would like to see, you know, ultimately what's going on with the property because it actually gives you really good information. So the seller disclosure is nothing more than just a list of things that uh, that the that the seller knows about the property, specifically to any defects or improvements or repairs, like anything that's happened to the property. They want to. It's best to get them to disclose everything that's going on. You know, it could be just that you know, hey, you know what, um, you know, when you when you turn the hot water on because of the instant hot water heater, it needs to run for two minutes before the hot water really kicks in, right? It's just one little thing information to know that hey well, before you get in the shower you gotta let it run for two minutes before the hot water you know goes something like that but anyway three things right now that's always forgotten number one is uh the seller disclosure is if you're buying a property that consists with an HOA homeowners association it's so so important that the seller disclose uh what's going on with that right so as far as hey is there is there a big reserve right now are there any upcoming assessments what improvements have happened what improvements are going to happen you know, does the uh, association have um, uh, anybody that's delinquent? Um, kind of what the plans are, all right? Are they planning to raise their HOA fees? You know, are they going to try to cut the budget a little bit? You know, what's insurances are doing? How is your insurance right now? There's a lot going on with that, right? So, you know, that's one part of it. Second part right now is repairs. You know, what type of repairs has the seller, um, you know, done to the property specifically to say, you know, structural repairs, right? Have they done any work to it, the decks, the foundation, um, any, uh, in, our, in our area, pilings, for example, that are built in the foundation in our area. Very, very important. Has anything been done there? And the third part is, it always comes up to, is, you know, if it's an older home, say built prior to 1978, there's always a lead-based paint disclosure that you can always have a lead-based paint, uh, you know, company come in and do an inspection on that, right? Just the, the disclosure itself is always nice to have, even though in our marketplace it's not always required, but uh, it's always a good thing if you're a buyer and or seller to provide that. Um, you know, it, it just protects both sides of the party. It discloses everything and disclosure is always the safest thing so that anything ever comes up in the future, hey, you already know about it. The certainty is there, right? So anyway, just the tips on the thoughts regarding uh, disclosure. Again, any and all real estate questions, concerns, or thoughts, reach out to us direct. You can email me, jeff at thequintongroup.com or call me 609-398-5333. Thanks so much. Appreciate you watching.